Hello Royalty. Good morning and welcome to our touch point today. My name is God Gift Austin, your regular host and anchor to this channel. Like we used to do it to pick our topics, we deliberate on them scripturally to find out the mind of God in those areas of concerns raised and how to respond accordingly. In so doing, those questions have lingered over the years in our heart and sometimes seem to have defied answers have been tackled. I have no doubt your own questions have been taken care of on this platform. All you need to do is to follow us, subscribe to our YouTube uh, page, uh, put on your notification button, and go through the, the, the messages that are uploaded here, over 400 of them. Before you finish, then you discover how much the Lord has dealt with your own issue. You understand? So, do feel free to use the comment section for your testimonies as the Lord is blessing you. Also, help us to share this and let it go viral. The world at large is our target. God bless you. Let's pray. My Father, my God, we thank you for blessing lives through this platform. We thank you for the testimonies. We thank you for the people all over the world coming to know what you are doing here. And we thank you for lifting up burdens from up our shoulders. May all honor be ascribed to you in the name of Jesus. We trust you that today will not be an exception. Do unto us, O Lord, as you have always been doing. Take all the glory in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, we have been talking about aging and old age for some time now. And... Um, I believe that soonest we'll wrap it up. But uh, the last uh, question we are still dealing is what can lead to a longer life? And because we are still on it, one of the things we saw there is that people who obey their parents, God also bless them. And so I also know that we need to avoid sinfulness because a sinful lifestyle brings spiritual cancer that eats away our souls. You understand me? So let's take note of that. This morning, let's quickly look at another outline in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13 and 16. The Bible says, Joyful is a person who finds wisdom, the one who gains understanding. She offers you long life in her right hand and riches and honor in her left hand. Living with wisdom and understanding can lead to a long, honorable life. Wisdom and understanding bring mental, social, and spiritual transformation. And that is just the truth there. So what is God saying? What promises is God giving to us as regards to all these things that we're looking at in, in, concerning aging in the summary of everything? Let's see Isaiah chapter 46, verse 4. The Bible said, I will honor you. I will be your God throughout your lifetime. In Isaiah chapter 46, verse 4. Until your hair is white with age, I, will, I, I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and I will save you. In Psalm 92, verse 14 to 15. Even in old age, they will still produce fruits. They will remain vital and green. They will decree the Lord is just. He is my rock. There is no evil in him. In Proverbs 3, chapter, verse 1 to 2, My child, if you truly want a long and satisfying life, never forget the things that I have taught you. So what are we looking at and what are we saying? The summary of all these things is that follow closely every truth that I have given you, all that you have heard. Then you will have a full rewarding life. Mind you, God can use you at any time. God bless you. And I also want to pray for those who want to acknowledge God as our Lord and Savior this morning. I say, Lord Jesus, thank you for these messages that you have been sharing with me. Help my life. Save my soul from eternal hell and damnation. I don't want to die without knowing you. Forgive me my sins. Wash me by your blood. Cleanse me, breathe upon me the breath of life, and give me a fresh start and a new beginning. Write my name in the book of life, delete it from the book of death. Satan, withdraw your filthy hand from my life. You did not make me, you cannot keep me either. The Lord died for me, and I have returned to him.
thank you, Jesus Christ, for paying the ultimate price for my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer with me this morning, congratulations. As I encourage you to keep focusing on this perfect law of liberty. You can never get it wrong, fellowshipping with us. The Lord has made all of this to equip you and to build you and to make you better you in life. And no sooner or later you discover how much yeah, you know you have come up in green in the Lord. God bless you. Bless every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sinful weight pulling you down is yanked of this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Go and prosper. Happy Easter in advance.